I'm going to walk to stand so I can address the audience as well as the council. Before I begin, name and address for the record, sir. What's that? Name and address for the record. Jim Walsh, 34 Main Street, Westbury. For those of you who received an American flag when you come in, would you please raise that flag? I just want the, the council and the mayor to experience the beauty of a massed amount of American flags on display, which you don't see in the city of Wilkesboro, okay? Oh, I got mine waiting. What's that? I have mine waiting. All right. In my hand, I hold and have a book written by a local young man, Edward Malachowski. It's the story of his brother's experience in a Bataan Death March as it experiences a Japanese prisoner of war camp. All right? Before I begin my remarks, I want to perfect, make perfectly clear I'm not here as a member of the Republican Party, Democratic Party, Tea Party, Coffee Party, or Halloween Party. <laughs> I'm here as a 100% American who loves our country, flag, and all that our nation stands for, and with the passion and nothing more. The American flag. Mayor Layton, members of council, ladies and gentlemen, at two previous council meetings I addressed the issue of the absence of the American flag in Central City on patriotic holidays, and in particular along the parade route. Approximately 14 years ago, the city purchased and placed the American flag in Central City lamps. The flags were displayed for a period of three years. For reasons unanswered, the flags were removed and not been displayed for approximately 11 years. Mayor Layton and succeeding councils have not resumed the displaying of the flags. Also not forthcoming in that time period has been little or no official encouragement for businesses and residents to display the flag on prescribed holidays. Why? Only they can answer and have refused to answer. This complacent attitude is strong evidence of a cancerous patriotic decay. Since Mayor Layton and Council have, have or will not offer any reasons for displaying the flag, allow me to submit reasons for display of our national symbol. Since the birth of this great nation, we have been involved in 12 major wars, resulting in over 1,200,000 deaths. Add to this the unknown number of wounded and missing in action. In addition, the suffering of thousands of those as prisoners of war. More recently, the death of nearly 3,000 civilians in the 9-11 attacks. Add to the reasons for the display of the flag the heroic action of 3,459 recipients of the Medal of Honor. The Medal of Honor is the highest award bestowed upon an individual serving in the military. Time will not permit me to offer further reasons for displaying the flag. At last month's Mount Council meeting, I asked members of council and mayor to answer several questions pertaining to our flag. They refuse to answer, again, the question, why? I'm going to present the same question to those of you in attendance. If you're in agreement, please raise the small American flag that you received when you arrived, or if you don't have one, just raise your hand. Before proceeding, I want to make it clear it is not my intent to question anybody's sense of patriotism or loyalty. The first question, and I hope you will participate. How many agree the American flag is a flag of honor? <laughs> How many of you believe the American flag renders honor and need not be altered to do so? The United States flag code specifically prohib prohibits the defacing, desecrating, and altering the flag. Do you agree with this? How many believe the public display of our nation's flag is a wonderful way of expressing patriotism and love of country? How many believe the city mayor and council should encourage publicly all businesses and residents to display the American flag on all patriotic observances? <laughs> you condone or approve the offering of our nation's flag to honor events or persons which is in violation of the flag code. Mr. Walsh, I'm sorry. How many would like to see the city streets lined with the American flag on prescribed holidays? Yeah. Who would agree the American flag is the only flag to which we owe allegiance? 
In summary, the greatest sense of our past and present are wrapped up in our flag. It is a symbol of this blessed nation, and our great republic is the haven where the oppressed and persecuted, persecuted, and truly God's gift to mankind. That is what the flag means to me. Can we wave it too much? I don't think so. And a postscript. Were you angered and hurt if you witnessed on the TV recently the ripping apart of our American flag in Cairo, Egypt? Yes. And are you more angered when you see the same act done by Americans to our flag? Yes. Were you and are you angered by your city government when purchasing the delivery and displaying 1,000 desecrated flags? and commercial banners displaced in Central City, but refused to display the Star Spangled Banner. Yes. Shouldn't they be held accountable? Yes. yes. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, please.